Hey everybody, and welcome back to another episode of FS Economy with me, Heard 37 Well, I'm getting really annoyed, man. Um, I had, First off, I had a problem with the FS Economy, and I've had it several times. And this one was uh, actually a couple weeks ago, so I was really getting into this. Uh, ready to set up a group and all this, and getting really excited. And then I just ran into problems. One was like the Twin Otter. I don't. I had some flight set up, you know, and you look, and it takes forever to find stuff and everything. But I, ha I finally had one going. And when I load up FS Economy, I don't know if this will even show it. Ah, I hit the wrong button. Well, it didn't show up. But there's a. Uh, it's just. It says that you know it's the correct plane, but then it wouldn't give me the other check mark saying that it was available at the airport. It was the Twin Otter, and he said Aerosoft extended everything, and it just it would not let me fly. It kept saying that it wasn't there. I'd have. No idea what the hell was going on. So I started getting really annoyed because, you know, we have all kinds of problems with FS accounting from time to time. Doing stuff like that and not being recognized at the certain airports and stuff like that. And then I had a problem not just a second ago. Not with the FS economy, but we, we had flown there and uh, I was getting ready to turn off the autopilot to land. And FS or FSX just minimizes itself to the desktop. So I said, oh, that's not good. And I bring it back up, and it's just a black screen. So it's completely screwed. It. You can hear FSX running, you know, the sounds of the plane and everything was just black screen, probably because of the E&B. So I don't know what the hell happened there. So I basically had this full flight done, and then, bam, it's just <laughs> unreal. Just trying to make a video, do I, trying to do a flight, and then that crap happens, and i got to reset everything. Just getting annoying, but uh, we do have a flight. And that is, we're going to take off from Charlotte, KCLT, go over here my flight. We're going to go to a KPTB, Denwood Old County, Petersburg, Virginia. Um, and we actually have people coming back. Uh, we can do that in another video. And I had another one uh, at KCLT. There's one going to the Greenbrier, people going to the Greenbrier. And that's in West Virginia. It's in Lewisburg. I kind of want to do that. But they also have people going to Myrtle Beach, which would also be a very fun flight. Um in the uh, PC-12. Let's go over back over to KCLT real quick. All kinds of jobs. All kinds of planes. Look at all the planes here. It's crazy. And there's three um, Pilatuses here. Pilatus, what do you want to say? Only, th I think they, uh, that one's broke or something. Uh, this one is ours. That one's locked. And it's $568 an hour dry. It's home base is KSFO. It doesn't say that there's a bonus or anything. So I don't know if we'll get dinged because we're probably going to fly, since we're going northeast, uh, it's a little bit more away, but it doesn't say anything. And then this one, uh, $630 uh, thirty dollars an hour dry, uh, so it was a little more expensive. It's up to the northwest. It's in Canada. Yeah, it was at, I can't remember what COI or Is that Calgary? I can't remember. Um, but we could take that one to the Greenback because that will be to the northwest. So that would be kind of smart to do that. Just pick up a little bit of a, a bonus there. All right, well, back over to my flight. I had to put a little fuel in it and look at it, reset it so it's back to 150 because it was at 77. I can't remember the exact. I think it was at 77. And since we're going to be flying it back in the next episode, I went ahead and uh, filled it up to 150 an hour. It says 270 is the cruising speed that's not true at all it's nowhere near that <laughs> I think it's more like 230 I think 240 is getting around max uh, so that's not true at all uh, but it uses 45 gallons an hour and it's got 150 in there right now so up and back it should be just fine all right check if out FS commander it shows us the weather uh, this is, the wind is coming from the northeast, so perfectly for Runway 5. In fact, I was using ATC to get out there, and they had everybody at Runway 5. Tons of traffic at Charlotte, which is kind of nice, kind of bad. In Dinwiddie Little County. Okay, so we have a localizer here for Runway 5. Uh, this is perfect for the wind right there, coming in from the northeast as well. As you can see, uh, 204 miles. I don't know if I mentioned that, so it's not too long of a flight. Get rid of that. We'll go over to Air Nav, and there's a chart down here for runway five for the RNAV approach. All right, so it's 5,002 feet long. Runway is 
Uh, the airport and the runway are both at 193 feet. The approach course is 051 degrees. Uh, it's 110.3, the localizer here. All right, and we want to come in here. Uh, you see the holding pattern? We go to FASOS. At, we want to be at 2,000 feet. Let me continue on 051 degrees down to Raylock. That's at uh, 1,600 feet. And then down to was it NYP, uh, down to 700 feet. And then the runway, which is, of course, what we say, what did we say that was? 1,300? No, 193 feet. You can come in from LVL, Lawrenceville uh, VOR. You can see our approach in right here. But, uh, yeah, 2,000 feet, then down to 1,600, 700 there, and then touching down. All right. Close that down. Hopefully this will work this time. It's extremely annoying. Did I close that? Oh, I might have closed that down. All right, let's get out of that. Got FS County right here. All right, so let's go ahead and move on over to the plane. All right, everybody, here we are at the plane. I just shut her down. Did it come start it up? All right, so we got the two greens here. Let's start the flight. This thing gets weird. I did this last time with the buttons. All right, everything is good. Inspect the full screen. All right, jump in. Have not flown this plane in forever, even though we use the FS passengers. I haven't flown FS passengers in a long time. Air Holler 2 coming out and everything. Just and I had a huge stock. I probably had like 10, 12 videos already made for FS Passenger. So I, was, I, have, a, I have to actually start uh, pretty soon making more because I've been getting those out. But, uh, all right, parking brake is on right there. All right, so battery one and battery two can come on. Gen one and gen two. Turn on the nav and the beacon. The starter up to a low idle. Just a little bit ago, she went flying on me. Stay put that time. Move this condition lever up a little bit. All right, avionics one and avionics two. Coming on. Prop heat, probe heat. And turn these on. You need to hit up ATC as well. I guess, I can't remember if we used it before or not. But uh, they had everyone using Runway 5, which is what I want. That's why I'm kind of worried about whether or not I should use it. Uh, we're going north. Charlotte Brown, Delta Foxtrot, Charlie Melvin Hotel with uniform. Request taxi. Yes, Charlie runway Delta five. Delta All right. One to fifteen Delta five, Delta by the way. All right, acknowledge that, and we'll have it go ahead and turn on the progressive taxi. Delta four, Charlie. I can't remember the, I didn't write down the runway heading for this Charlotte Runway 5. Should have. I realized I didn't do it last time. But uh, we'll go ahead and move this over. Zero five zero. U.S. Airways is big at this airport. Ah. There we go. I'm going to bring up this to that over. Might be a little too small. I don't know if you all can see that now. Oh, come on. I was just able to resize it to from the top. Now it won't let me. All right. Let's go up to the top. Taxi light is on. Parking brake is off.
take this taxi line right here. Turnway 5, it's not too far away. Uh, we just had a, when I was here the first time, we had a bunch of people we had to wait on. Everybody going to runway 5. Hey, hey, truck. Hey, seriously? Don't I have the right of way since I'm a plane? Yeah, well. Oh my goodness. Come on, guys. You're stopping again. What in the world? We're going around them. Could really just go through them and hurt us. Dumb. And then they, they start going... <laughs> Knowledge that we're not going across the runway. As a president, they're not using. Why they're bringing them in on this runway anyway? Right, right here. I wonder where they're coming in from. This is runway five, right over here. Coming this way. Where in the world are I can hear engines, but I don't think that's uh it must be this guy. Charlotte Brown, Cactus one six one nine with uniform, ready to taxi, IFR. Cactus one six one nine or taxi two and hold short of runway five using taxiway on stop flight. Can I get some permission over here? Set my view. Setting the flaps by the way, one notch. There we go. Charlotte Round, 314 Niner with uniform, ready to taxi IFR. 314 Niner, taxi 2 and hold short of runway 5. Try to, to get him. Contact tower on 118.1 when ready. Roger, the latest, Charlie Alpha Hotel. Taxi 2 and hold short runway 5. We're going to do an intersection takeoff. I did that last time. We had enough room, plenty of room. Go left here and go up a little bit more. There's so much traffic around here. Like when I took off, there was like four planes lined up uh, down at the end of the runway. You can see more going over there. I'm going to go ahead and hit up the tower. Now, did I do my takeoff from right there? Charlotte Tower, Cactus 1675, ready for IFR departure, runway uh, I may have gone up too far, now we can't do our intersection five, takeoff. Runway 5, traffic is Airbus E320 on the runway. Hold short, runway 5, Cactus 1... Uh, am I going to have to go all the way up there? Yeah, it looks like there's a, another intersection right up here. At least there's less planes up there anyway. Guess I shouldn't have turned over to town so tower so soon. So hopefully after that guy, well, there's somebody else come coming to the landing over there. Maybe this is where I took off. So you got those two guys going over there too. So there's that guy getting on the runway right now. Uh, take off. Charlotte Tower, Pilatus, Delta, Foxtrot, Charlie, Alpha Hotel, ready for departure to the north at runway 5. Pilatus, Delta, Foxtrot, Charlie, Alpha Hotel, hold short, runway 5. So hopefully we'll get after this guy. That guy just landed. I guess these two guys are going to the end of the runway. That all the way up. Cactus one six seven five. Cleared for takeoff. Runway 
Yeah, U.S. Airways is all over this airport here. I don't hardly see anybody else. Got to hell on that. Acknowledge that. Landing lights and strobe coming on. Like I said the flaps are out. Parking brake is off. Let's go ahead and get on here. That's her. Runway 5, Pilatus, Charlie, Melvin Motel. Short, runway 5, Texas 1619. Actually, we don't need that just yet. That one off as well. Alright, here we go. Not quite full power. Just a little left there. Alright, we can go ahead and get up. Positive rate. Gears coming up. Ah, uh, wind of like I was getting blown left there. I'm gonna go ahead and retract the flaps. Trim it out here. That's too much. Nose up. A little too much. Come on, get your nose down. I'm trying to trim the hell out of it. Good lord. And then it wants to bring the nose way down. All right, let's go over to another airport so we don't have to listen to them. Let's go over to Wilgrove. Turn over to their traffic. There we go. All right, let's hit the CDI to bring over to GPS. Autopilot, flight director, nav. Arm this for 15.5. We're going to climb initially at 1,500 feet a minute. All right, let's see if you can see this GPS. It's two, exactly 200 miles. Uh, this is an hour and 23 minutes from here. It's a 20 mile radius on the, the GPS. Probably change that a little bit when we get closer to the airport. We're used to 10. Got a little bit bigger so you can see it a little easier, hopefully. Let's switch that one over to terrain. Can actually go up to the top here, turn off our taxi light. Actually, need to start leaning the mixture as well. Get down to 90. As we come up on 5,000 feet, Let's take a look outside in Charlotte. Far away, it happened last time. She doesn't run all that smooth. I mean, Charlotte is extremely dense, and everything is set on extremely dense. All right, I hate these messages. Someone else messaged me about that. If they knew how, I, if I knew how to get those to go off, and I unfortunately I don't. It's annoying as. Glad to know I'm not the only one who was completely annoyed by those stupid little messages uh, flashing on. So 
get into the clouds here. What is the desired track here? 061. Nine hundred feet. Not a whole lot is a little, just a little ways away from Charlotte. Like dang on. So I'll go ahead and speed it up. You can see we're 193 miles out. Uh, just a little over an hour until we get there. So I'll go ahead and speed her up. Be back in just a bit.
All right, everybody, slowing it down. We're about 29 miles up from the airport. Let's go over and get on ATC here for KPTV. See if I can find it. KPTV, Dinwiddle. All right, turn over to the traffic, runway for landing, runway five. Full stop landing. That's our position. Alright, so select our approach. Localizer for five. And we're going to go down here, like I said, to Faceos. Hit that, load it. Activate the approach. And we're 16 miles from Pesos, as you can see it right there. Bring it this up. I'm gonna move this down to 10. But you can see we're not gonna do the uh, holding pattern there. And I think we need to hurry up our descent a little now. Well, I guess we're 16 miles out and we need to go about 4,000 feet. So I'll go to 700 feet a minute for now. go down here as well just to 90 if I've got my landing lights and my taxi light on and yep oh another thing we need to do let's go ahead and we need to put the localizer code in here 110.3 do that down here as well 10.3 All right, we're at 5,500 feet. We've got 13 miles to go, so we need to be at 2,000. So I'm going to hurry up our descent a little more and go back on the thrust just a little bit. We've got about four minutes, it says. And then at uh, V, was it? V-Lock is a uh, Raylock. We need to be at 1,600 feet shortly after that. You'll see it come up on the map here. The Raylock is right there. It's right at the right at the start of the approach. 3,000 feet to go. So that's actually where LVL is. We should have come over there, but I don't know how to put that in over here. I'd have to do that uh, on the flight planner. So I don't, I don't think you can put waypoints in here using this GPS. So I'm not too sure. Let's go ahead and speed this up a little bit because we got 10 miles to go here. Might need to hurry up our descent a little bit. Go back on the thrust a little bit. Right, 2,000 feet to go, 8 miles till we get to Faisos. Yeah, there's nothing out here, is there? This is desolate. It's like Air Hall R2 flying in Kentucky and West Virginia, there's just nothing around. 1,000 feet to go with 5 miles. Ooh, that's a 700. The airport is actually not too far away. Like I said, we are not going to do the going around here. We got 400 feet to go in 3 miles. Go ahead and arm that for 2,000. The normal right here. Now, right as we get to face this, I'm going to have to switch this over back to the radios. Be locked from GPS. Mile to go, 130 feet. 
I've got the heading at is well no, I don't have it. Zero six one. Hit that over. Zero five one. Let's move our course over to zero five one as well. And we need to get down to sixteen hundred feet at Raylock. It's a knots our position again. Right there, you can see the red light, I believe. The runway. And lastly, let's make sure this is at 100%. 130 feet to go to Raylock. Watch that speed. We're going to get it a little bit lower before we get our flaps out. And again, the run, uh, it's 193 feet elevation. So we're at 1,600 feet just before Raylock. You can see it does say we're low. See, it's still got faceos because we didn't do the holding. It's just kind of confusing to me. Last time I actually did do the hold, go around, but then it wanted me to go around again. It didn't switch right over to Raylock, so I was a bit confused about how to make it go to the next waypoint. Says we're a little low. There it's coming back on it. It's about 700 feet. Go back on the thrust a little bit. So we're our speed getting up. We need to put our flaps out. Yep, so now we're high. And the flaps ballooning us. Get everything off here. Gears coming down. I'm gonna go ahead and click off the autopilot. Make sure I get that yaw damper off. All right, got my hands on it. Another notch of flaps. Need to get her down here. Those flaps blooming us up again. All right, we're at full flaps. bit more still high fight and try and get it down there it's good to crab out of me when you said that right with that buzzer wow girl Still high. All right, we're on it now. How 
off to the left some more. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. Floating long. That was not good. Until we haven't landed, flown this in a while. Now, I wanted my speed to drop a little more, and I didn't get down. We didn't announce we were on final either. I'm so not used to using ATC. Where are our buildings anyway? Over to the right, left. Taxiway is right over here. Was there one right here actually? Yes. Get off that runway. All right. I guess I ever got to now that we're on the final. I said we're clear of that. It was my bad. Obviously. Stop the recording. Uh, let me get my landing lights and strobe light off. Head on over here. Guess I don't know where else to park. I guess we could park on down there. Tracked in the flaps. All right. Yeah, it wasn't a very good landing. I, I kept getting left, uh, even on the approach. I kept trying to correct it. Then uh, speed was a little too quick, and because uh, when well, I wanted to level out, we were <laughs> going to actually probably gain a little bit of altitude. Just getting a little too fast. I should have, uh, I guess, gotten it down a little quicker, too. Could have come in a little better. Man, she goes from too slow to too fast in an instant. I try to avoid slamming the brakes. Right on over here. I think we can have a parking area right here. Over to our right. Step right here. Man, it seems like she's really, really quick. Turn that taxi light off. All right, hit the parking brake. If this economy will come up. All right. I'll just go ahead and cut the fuel. Pro beat, prop heat off. And have the beacon coming off. Turn off the avionics. Generator, battery two, and battery one. All right, uh, let's go over to FS Economy website and uh, get paid. All right, it should be done. No, kind of scared. It says there's no aircraft, but I'm coming back, uh, I had to load this up over to here. Yeah, it's got it because it logged my hours. Uh, let's go for the banking. Actually, let's go to log first. Right, we'll see how much we <laughs> we made. Sixty four hundred bucks. All right. So the actual income, well, it paid a total of nine thousand two hundred twenty. Uh, we were paying five hundred sixty eight to rent the aircraft. We rented it for an hour and sixteen minutes, so it cost us seven twenty three fifty seven. Cost us two thirty five ninety two for the fuel. Nine twenty two on the ground crew fee. Nine twenty two on the booking fee. So two thousand seventy nine ninety two, nothing for the distance bonus. I'm glad we didn't get dinged because we flew it away from there. So that's actually a good thing. So yeah, we made sixty four sixteen fifty one. So let's go ahead and put that in. Sixty four. Sixteen. Fifty one. Dark in here. I can't really see the keyboard. 
and that brings us up to one hundred twenty-six thousand seven hundred twenty dollars and twenty-eight cents. Happy about that. Let's look at the aircraft again. I don't I think we're gonna have to do one or two more flights before we buy one. I'm gonna purchase aircraft. Let's say model and Cessna 172 because I, I have my eyes on one. It's sound in Mexico. Might have already actually probably have already bought one by the time this video gets out, but I can hurry it up and get the others posted too. This 120,000, but see, that's over in Europe. Uh, see, that one's in Idaho. That's 134 grand. So we need another eight grand. And that uh, that flight right there paid us 6,400. So if we take that one going back, and there's not quite 10 people, so we won't quite make that much going back. And then we'll probably need another flight or two before we can snag that. See, that one's in Idaho. Where is this one? So it doesn't have GPS, which isn't totally bad. That's the one I had my eye on as well, down in uh, Mexico. We'd have to fly that back, but that's that's fine. But yeah, maybe we'll snag that one. Is there anything wrong with that? It's for sale. Let's check that out. Click on that. Monthly ownership fee. By the way, they're, they're doing that because I guess some people came in, bought planes, but they haven't played in a long time, so those planes aren't available. So they're going to start um, charging people a monthly fee, which I think is a good idea. But it's just 1100 bucks for a little Cessna. Maybe it'll make more than that in one flight. So that's pretty cool. I'm glad that's for sale. Time since 100 hour, 89.08. It doesn't have that much... Uh, Time on it either. Uh, home is CYQI. Now, if I buy that, does can I change the home? I wonder. I'm not sure exactly how that works. So I was looking at groups too. And I was gonna uh, form one. I'll make a video about that when I do. But yeah, pretty heavy. We're up to 126 thousand. Probably two more flights, and we'll have enough for our. Our first little plane, and we'll create a group and uh, we'll see how it goes. But that's going to be it for this episode, everybody. Hope you all did enjoy it. Catch you guys on the next flight.